environment and as long as you enjoy i guess the the environment the people and of course the program that you chose kanang dili ko siguro regret kina kadiri actually mm-hmm. nindot jud ang IUP yes grabe ang environment sa IUP no like i've rag grabe na ko overuse na ko nga word but we always feel safe being in UP mm-hmm. diba kay i don't know just it's a UP culture na like they always have to be welcoming super welcoming they don't feel like Ako as as a freshie, wala kayo na ako na feel nga like I'm an outcast because it's my first time here. I, I, I agree with you, friends. As no? in, kay grabe sila like the first time you meet each other, they would sing, "Hi, hello, hello. What's your name? Na na na. What's your course and stuff." So, I think it's very nice to have people, uh, diverse people like from different colleges, from different cultures, and of course from different uh, places in the world. The, the world, world. hard <laughs> work. But <laughs> it's um, people from, from all over the country and even people outside the country that just proves that our education is for excellence. Good. No? Aside from sa, aside sa education, aside from environment, we have the orgs, food, we help you to expand your existing uh, skill set. That, UP. That's right. And I think ang reason lang po guru um ni Kuya basketball player. What if ko lang good siya, yang yang gusto lang is to like had low compare in a way nga like kanang to make friends. Like okay, it's a story to tell. It's a story to tell if ever nga ay kanang diin mo nag meet ani nga friend. Ay nag meet mi kay akong gihadlo. <laughs> imagine having imagine having that. Oy, how did you meet? Ay nag meet me kay nagduwa man na siya ba- nagduwa man na siya basketball niya ayo kung gihadlok na yoga ayo 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 lang di ba I think it's a story to tell to, like, funny siya I guess if you're gonna oh, ask oi din mo nag meet how did you how 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 did your friendship start ana nga story di ba I think it's funny siguro um uh lalahi pum pud nga students sa lahi pud silang struggles siguro nay uban students nga I think kanang nor- I think galing kanang normal na nga kanang nay maglowa mm. nga na siguro nag struggle sila sila hang kuan sila hang sila yeah life, because nga na. Kala, ka- lahi ra yeah. situation and lahi atong pagtake sa mga situation but it depend it, 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 it we have various ways of how to deal with things like how to deal with the struggles that we're experiencing that's why um some were worst case to worst case ingo na 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 mga ending nila but some still like Antuso na lang and get over it after. Pero it's okay, guys. Maojo na ako na learn here in uh, UPC nga. It's super valid to feel that way. Nga like if if you feel too tired, you have to you have to rest and get away from everything. It's okay here in UP. Kay it's normalized, mga good things like LOA kay normalized siya. So I think it's it's one thing of um, the UP system giving respect to um, our own company mm-hmm. like how we would resolve the problems that we are experiencing right now ana diba so yes i agree with you friends um ganay ko sabi good nga mo rest gid ka mm-hmm. mo kaon kita diba at the tech no mo kaon na ganay mo rest gid ta igi ka po in dili ta magpalipas og gutom it will make our school life harder as in like let's say for example guys grabe na kay mo ka stressed out grabe na kadaghan inyong akads pero you feel like giving up try to take a power nap i think power nap works power nap tapos maabot og alas 11 sa gabi power nap lang <laughs> keep it, keep power naps power naps like uh-huh. um i think power naps are 15 to 45 minutes Yeah, up to 45 minutes. Like, 45 minutes. Guys, of budget I go swear to. it works. <laughs> to me, it's like a restart. Like, mura ko ga restart lang sa kung phone, but rather to myself. Ana lang. Siguro ni friends mo work siya. Pero but kana, I hope it works for everyone, uh-huh. just so they don't feel too bombarded for everything. Pero kana lahi man ako ang techniques ang mga students sa pag cope up sila hang akad sa commitments dary sa school. Eka gabon sa imong unsa ka mo cope? Actually, um. Last sam kay nag struggle gid tug mayo sa pulsa yan icon mm. and really one of my techniques was I think I started doing this back in senior high school is mga 9 10 kisa gabi dili na jud ko mutuon kay 
kapoy, di na masood sa kutok. So, I sleep early, and then I wake up sa kadlawon. Ara na ko magkuan, magtuon. So, murag, kanang, ang uban, kaginahan naman sila nga magsunog sa kilay nila. Nga kanang murag, kanang, all-nighters, bin- oh, all-nighters all. gid sila nga magtuon. Ako, me. Di, 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 Matug jud ko mukaon gyud ko. Pero one time nga murag nagkagyup ni Isa. <laughs> Isa kagyup activity and then murag pag pag ukab or si Reef ba to I, I forgot na kanang murag pag ukab na ko sa akong laptop. Ay pag mata na ko is kanang nag-on pa akong laptop low bat nakaayo ani <laughs> ana kay wala na nako na finish akong task kay grabe nakatug na jud ko. Uh... Pero mubawi ko nga we work ko early in the morning. Yeah, and that's true nga, it's different because mm. in my case... In your case, France? In my case, I left sa DH. Ah, sa DH na di ka nagpuyo ron? No? Um, during those times nga, like, grabe na dyan ka hectic ang everything with all the long exams and stuff. I do DH with some of my friends. And this is when I told... Uh, this is where I believe yun nga power naps work because I only get to sleep one hour, an hour. So, uh, there's this thing nga, uh, if... Like, ego naman good ang ang katugon ni mo when it the time takes at three three in the morning makatugon na jud miana so mo na one may okay power nap ta one hour mata jud magalas quatro one hour mata magalas quatro review mi balik and then ulit mi sa mga boarding house by five ay by by six and then sleep mi kadiot mm-hmm. one hour na sad so that's basically just two hours of sleep. Which is very unhealthy. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Wag to laran. It's so unhealthy. Um, I think I would do it again. But not... Okay, I think the previous semester, my God, it's so unhealthy. Nga, like, Bugat sa atong workload. And I tend, I tend to do it last time nga, every day. So that's why I ako nga, oh my God, this is not... This won't work. I have to stop this. Okay, I only get two hours of sleep. I look so... I don't look good already. Ay, look, look I don't, good no, last time. Yeah. Last time, I don't look good anymore because, girl, imagine sleeping only two hours every day and then, like, I have to travel pa from school back to my boarding house. So, and early in the morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Imagine other people starting their day and I just ended my day that, that very hour. So, don't follow me, guys. It's not healthy. I think, I, I, just as I said earlier, I would do it again. We're not in an unhealthy way. Like, yeah, dili jud permintihon. I think, basta, dili lang permintihon. For so long as dili lang permintihon. I-balance lang, Guru. Kay, I would say nga, uh, all-nighters work man good for me. Ah, yeah, all-nighters work for, for me. For me, man. Yeah, all-nighters work for me. But, not really like, full all-nighter. I have to take a quick nap. Ah. And anak lang. Kay, like, I have to take a quick break, good of everything. Kay, if I do things continuously, good. Grabe, murag dili ko mo function, maglog ko. Pero um, I, I've heard ba ya uh, nga from ako yung nakita nga uh, video kanang sa YouTube. Kanang maras lang like, nag-interview sila like, mga doctors. Actually they were sleep doctors and they were debunking myths about sleep. And ilang jungi advice good is mas maayo jud na continuous imong tulog actually kaysa putol-putol siya. Um, it's better nga to have it, have it continuous hindi siya mag tigit-tigit bitaw. Okay, Doc Gab. Okay, Doc Gab. No, we said that, Doc. No, we will try, Doc. Na, <laughs> <laughs> so again, balik ka ni, ni Moon running, no? Atong, atong Abasti, number two. Um, Good for you. Nga no regrets ka dari sa UP. As in, as in, congratulations. <laughs> I'm not too late now. No regrets. Pero, no, no regrets, good. I hope we get an update from Abasti number two. Like, yeah, they ended it with no regrets. No regrets. Pero how are you doing now? Ito, no? Yeah, with like, what if this confession was from last time or like recent one? But I hope you're doing so well right now. Like, get live up ni mo ang imong idea nga there's no regrets happen. Wala regrets kana ita book. So we hope nga at this very moment still no regrets. Ito. Ay 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 ganahan ko ang nga mindset nga kanang nakasud na kadari so uh, ako jud ni panindigan. There's no turning back. Mm-hmm. Andito na ako kailangan to panindigan or else I don't know where else to go. Panindigan na ako for the clout na taga UP. Hey! Hey! I 
Ayaw na po! Ayaw na po! Hindi ako pa rin hindi ganyan. Iskolar ako. Ipanabi na rin sa ako ang mamagpapa sa aking mga kaliwat na nag-iupi ko niya. Mubak out ko na patay. Kauwaw na lang dyan. Ay, my God. Panindigan ko niya. Dapat na itong mindset. Yeah, and also guys, um, imagine all all the rejected applications just for your spot. Bitaw, no? Ah, uh, that, that's what I tell myself. And I feel so down, guys. I have this... I think it's one of my coping pod nga. I feel so down na nga. Like, OMG, akong, akong mga exam scores are not working. And like, hagbong yun siya. <laughs> Basically, hagbong yun siya. Very well, na sa UP or sa college. Kamu, tumuan na lang ko nga. I'll think about all the people who could have been in UP, but I'm here. Di ba? Like, all the people, all the... Maybe, like, of course... We're not. I'm not perfect, so I don't think myself of super super high. Like mm. no one could. Walay walay makalabaw sa ako. So I would think of the people who are, I think, more capable than me. Nga wala dede gani. Mm. So I should be grateful. I should be grateful of of this of this opportunity to to get quality education for free. For free. That's right. You know? I I agree with you, friends. I think it's like. Sa to, it's an quote sa kanta. Ah, uh, like catching lightning in a bottle. Kung baga, mm. ang, pag, ang pagkuhanin mo dali sa UP ka ng... Unang naon di mo ha, sa kadagan ng applicants na ikaw ang na- natagan ka spot. Naga, naga ni Uban nga na waitlisted and then ni appeal pag yun sila. Nga, okay, I, I know some people actually nga na waitlist sila niya. Ganado mm. sila ma UP. So, ni appeal yun sila and then kanang good for them na nasugtan nilang appeal na nakasudyon sila dali. So, kanina na baka ng it's it's a blessing you to to be here in UP, no? As in, I think just imagine because we all know that nothing is for free already in this world, diba? And that education nowadays is very expensive. It's so expensive, and it is a great honor to be here in UP to be one of the chosen ones. Na, and of course, in the future, of course, we're gonna bring back to the community as serve well. Serve the community. Okay. Yes, because here in UP, we are taught mga to serve the people. Because that's what we're here for. Because at this very moment that we are studying in this university, the people are serving us, basically. Diba? If you If you come to think of all, of where your taxes go, of of all the efforts that um, our Filipino people is putting in so that just so we could get our education for free that means they're basically serving us and in the future as we graduate we'll, we'll, we'll serve the fu- the people as well give back lang give and take lang tayo here and na kay kanang moment na mura siya kumbaga cycle of life kumbaga so kita karon sa janti wa pa mantay mabuhat so we learn we try as we we try a very hard to learn and then in the future we give back that's right and i think kanang kuan pud um siguro in i guess i like to think of it as education as a privilege kumbaga um kuan man especially dali sa UP nga kanang free yung education you have this this access to different kinds of knowledge bitaw nga kanang dili nimo makuha if wala ka sa eskwelahan so i think education in general is a privilege dali sa UP nga kanang na yung mga mag, mag-forum na mga professionals nga mag, mag art art talks baron or forum about poetry or about literature na ato sila sa mga ato ang mga venues ka ng for free good da nga maka-access ana nga natay mga professors mga professors nga practicing pud sila sila yes. own crafts di ba so grabe ato mga professors mm, gano mga, mga talented good and sila basta-basta good as is and I think here said in UP Gab, I learned that yeah, sa tutung gengon nga education is privilege and um, our professors actually guys make us realize nga make us realize nga um, be, just being here is just a very big privilege. Okay, imagine those other other um, people at our age who who do not have the access to quality education and. And to those people who basically can't afford the education, but they have to um, do their best and like basically mag magsunog ng kilay just so um, they get the education uh, they truly deserve, and that that ends up them having to having to work two jobs just so they could pay for their tuition, yes. So which is which is so hard, and all those things really make me realize nga I should be grateful and I should make everything worth it like dili na ko saya saya on lang ang akong opportunity ang opportunity nga gihatag sa ako ah, because here in UP Cebu um, we are taught bitaw guys to like 
um, think of where all this we are experiencing coming from. Kay they, kanang I don't think dili dili jud ko moingon nga tinuod na red tackings and all ana, di ba? Kay um, we are labeled into something like that, mm-hmm. but in fact, guys, I don't think that's the case for for all UP campuses. I think they just wanna. Um, I think ang ga drive sa atong mga uh, ang 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 ga drive sa mga UP student UP students is the fact that mulat sila. Mm-hmm. They see what other people are struggling. They see what the marginalized are experiencing at the moment. So they want to do something. They want to make change. That's what. That's what I, I think. That's the reason for them uh, we're here for. Because to me, Gab, uh, the reason why I'm here is like to as much as possible influence other people to be mulatsad as well. Because ang mga namulat ay hindi namuling pipikit. I like that. I like that. Um, ang mga namulat ay hindi namuling na pipikit, no? And kana Jude, kana ng diripat sa UPS. Yes, mulat me, but Amo jud na i-express nga uh-huh. mulat ni. Yes. Dawi mao ni ang hitabo sa ato ko. Dili ka ingon nga mulat lang pero wala lang ginagawa. Kasi Ang bisita pala ta. Because an uh, um, oh, kasi bakit? Bakit ba friends? Kasi wala mangyayari kung walang gagalaw. Mm-hmm. Uh, walang magbabago. Yeah. Kung walang pagbabago. Aha, uh-huh. walang Wala. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will happen if no one will initiate for something to happen. Ana de ba? Like, and I think we're the first steps. As early as now, we're trying to be um, the better, um, yeah, the better for the future. Mm, better uh, Filipino uh, in, countrymen. Yes, and the better Philippines manifest. We manifest for good governance. We just want good governance and good life for everyone else, guys. Like, um, to me, I think UP students are just, um, they wanna, they want uh, the marginalized people to not feel that they're so low. Like, they want everyone, to, they want, they just want everyone to feel the same. Okay, although, yes, it's very given that there's, there's social imbalance that we're experiencing right now, but, um, let's try. Let's start it by um, changing our our personalities, like changing our behavior towards things. Atong mindset, the way in, we look at things. It's the mindset, guys. It's just the mindset. Don't think of us uh, UP students too bad. It's just the mindset. It's our mindset. So please do the same. <laughs> hopefully. So I guess mo na to ato ang confession That's number right. two. Gap atong ito confessions, gab no. Atong, I love our confession. Yes. I love what's up. We're very relatable mga I love what's up. I love what's up. It's so sentimental and it's very eye opening. Eye opening. <laughs> anyway, so um again, you know, sa tapos ni number two, uh, congrats nga na no regrets ka and then padayon right. lang yun. Padayon lang yun. And we hope that at this very moment you you still have no regrets. Yes. And for the future. You have no regrets. And Dear Oblet will be back after the short break. Don't forget, um, you, we will hear uh, the statement of Oblet when we come back. Mare, ano nga ba ang nangyayari sa tubig natin? Bakit hindi pa rin lahat may access sa malinis na tubig? Totoo yan, pare. Dapat pa tayo maging kampyon ng malinis na H2O gawing totoo para sa lahat? Tama ka, Mare. Tayo ang magbabago. Sa pamamagitan ng programang ito, magkakaroon tayo ng sapat na malinis na tubig at tamang sanitasyon para sa lahat. Pero paano natin magagawa yun, Pare? Madali lang yan, Mare. Una, tayo mismo ay maging responsable sa paggamit ng tubig. Huwag natin sayangin at gamitin ng wasto. Tama ka, pare. Dapat makiisa tayo sa paglaganap ng kaalaman tungkol sa kahalagahan ng malinis na tubig at sanitasyon. Edukasyon ang susi. Huwag din natin kalimutan na ang pagbabago ay nagsisimula sa pagre-reforma sa patakaran. Kailangan na ipalam natin sa gobyerno ang importansya ng malinis na tubig. Ay oo! Dapat talagang i-demand natin ang policy changes na ginagawang prioridad ang universal access sa malinis na tubig, no? 
Ang huli, tayo ay maging bahagi ng malinis na H2O gawing totoo. Mag-donate tayo, mag-volunteer, at ipaalam sa iba ang adikain na ito. Sama-sama tayong kumilos dahil tayo ang magiging lakas ng pagbabago. Gawin nating totoo ang malinis na H2O. Mga kaibigan, samahan niyo kami sa adikain ng malinis na H2O gawing totoo. Ito ang pagkakataon natin para magkaisa at bigyan ng boses ang mga kababayan nating nangangailangan. Hindi na tayo magpapahuli, pare. Sabay-sabay nating sabihin, malinis na H2O gawing totoo. Tayo ang pag-asa ng tunay na malinis na kinabukasan. Ito ang hamon namin sa inyo mga kababayan. Sama-sama nating gawing totoo ang malinis na H2O. Tayo ang bida ng pagbabago. Tara pare, hindi tayo dapat mag-atubiling sumali sa programa. Ang bawat tulong natin ay may malaking epekto sa buhay ng marami. Isama natin ang boses natin. Magkaisa tayo para sa malinis na tubig at tamang sanitasyon. Malinis na H2O, gawing totoo. What is up mga Oblessies? We are back and at the end of our episode na Gab. So we've heard um, our Oblessie number one talk about how they would miss our seniors and all the seniors out there. And Oblessie number two talk about an, an, I think an unexpected friendship with the seniors at as well. Nga. Having no regrets. Aha, uh-huh. No regrets being in UP. And with that Gab, maminaw na ta kung unsa iingon sa atong Oble. Okay, Oble? Please take it away. This time, do it your way. Wow. Grabe gani si Oble, Grabe no? Grabe gani si Oble. Pero si Oble sa ato mga gikinahanglan na like tanan dyan niya ay pang sulti kay mga moigo dyan na tanan nga like okay, kung kanay mong concern then Oble has an answer. So, wow. Oble amazing. listens good. As in, Oble <laughs> listens. And also guys, we'd like to plug a new character to look forward to, di ba? Uy! Di ba? Nami! Pero we're keeping it under wraps, ha? Uh-huh. Pero watch out, niya mo. No, okay, we will be having a special character from time to time. Yes. There is a dear Oble in a kanang. It's gonna be so exciting, yes, guys. It's gonna be, it's exciting. Gonna be so exciting. So watch out so for much. that. Hala, na spoil na sila. <laughs> okay, na eh. Pero it's, it's the spoiling time this week. So Sakto. look forward on that, guys, because we will be having a very special character who will join us for the next episodes of Dear of Le, diba? And also, don't forget to follow DYUP Subo on all our social media platforms. We are available on Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, Spotify, and what else? YouTube. And of course, you can really listen to us at the canteen and the AS Hall because we have you covered that way. So don't forget, it's at TYUP Subu underscore UPC. Also, no, um, ako lang po i-plug in among mga bagong uh, admin programs. No? So na natin mga admin pro- programs, live chat from our library. Um, Reseta from our health services unit that is a UPC. And of course, um, Beyond the Binary, no? um, in collaboration with OASH, OASH and, and GAD. GAD. And of course, that will be hosted and produced by DYUP Sugbu Advisor Sir JT. Are you excited? Oh. Ah, they actually um, had the first episode now yesterday and um, live shot also last uh, Monday. So, Look forward to all the things ready for you guys. And for the next um, next program, I think we have Tech Talks, which is a collaboration of DYUP Sugbu and the social Comsai Comsai Guild. So please do look forward on that. And this has been DJ Friends. And this has been DJ Gab. This is Zero Ble. Your avenue to be heard. One confession at a time. Sulat mo. Basa ko. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. A blessing. Zero Ble. 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 Z
always be here right with you.
futuristic beats and dial up the excitement unleashing the power of ones and zeros welcome sack explorers the electrifying frequency that powers your curiosity this is tech talks by computer science guild and dyu pisugbo kauban nimo Exciting tech news with inspiring tech talk. Co-produced by Computer Science Guild live on air. This is Yusuf Bovera. With Jade Zain Katakes and Joanna Rica Lagumbay bringing you the bits of the bite. Our tech headlines for today, Google to relaunch Gemini AI image tool. A woman pioneered Wi-Fi honoring Hedy Lamar's legacy. 
Google's Gemini AI is back, creating realistic images of people with Google's Gemini AI image tool is set to make a comeback in this coming weeks after a brief pause due to inaccuracies in historical depictions. Alphabet's Google initiated the offering of image generation through its Gemini AI models earlier this month, but users raised concerns about historical images being inaccurately generated. According to Damis Hassabi, CEO of Google De DeepMind, the tool was taken offline to address the inaccuracies and is expected to return online shortly. Hassabi highlighted that the tool was not functioning as intended and requires refinement before its relaunch. Alphabet shares experienced a 3.5% decline following the announcement, underscoring the significance of Google's AI endeavors since the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT. Google has been in a race to develop AI software that rivals its competition. As Google continues to innovate in the realm of generative AI, the relaunch of Gemini signals the company's commitment to advancing its capabilities. However, analysts warn that persistent inaccuracies could lead to concerns among users and regulators alike. In the Women's Month, featuring Hedy Lamar's contribution to tech will be reported proudly by our new Women in Tech, our women's host. In the records of technology history, few names shine as brightly as Hedy Lamar's. Beyond her iconic Hollywood persona, Lamar stands as a pioneer in wireless communication credited with a groundbreaking invention that laid the foundation for modern Wi-Fi technology. Hedy Lamar's journey from silver screen stardom to tech innovator is a testament to her multifaceted brilliance. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood's golden age, Lamar's passion for invention burned brightly, culminating in a collaboration with composer George George Antheil that would change the course of communication forever. Amidst the turmoil of World War II, Lamar's ingenuity sparked a game-changing breakthrough. Together with Antheil, she devised a frequency-hopping system aimed at thwarting enemy interference with military communications. This invention not only bolstered wartime efforts, but also laid the groundwork for the wireless technologies we rely on today. Though Lamar's physical presence may have faded, her legacy endures as a beacon of innovation and inspiration. Her induction to the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the recent release of children's books celebrating her life underscore the timeless le relevance of her contributions. As we commemorate Women's History Month, Hedy Lamar's story serves as a reminder that brilliance knows no bounds. Her journey from silver screen siren to technological luminary inspires generations to pursue their passions fearlessly, transcending boundaries and reshaping the world. Grabe! May good to! May hapon! Ay, may hapon di ay! Kaya launa na! Yes. And it's our second month. episode. Yung in the Women's Month pa dyan, yes. no? Grabe, oy! So may feeling mga babae. About the present and the future na AI, pero atong talk back ang past. Yeah, true. true. Sikin sabi ni siya. Si Hadi Lamar. Oh, imong idol. Oh, before na to siya, uh, before na to siya istoryahan, nintot po datong sugdan ang Gemini, no? Oh, true. Kailan ko, so, Gemini, ang kailan ko ang uban, wala kay lag Gemini, kaya nag-rebranding oh, man sila. Pero so, kung ingo na yung bard, uh -oh. ah, kaila, kaayo, di ba? Zodiac sign and Gemini. Ano ito? Ano sa'yo mong Zodiac sign? Aquarius. Oy, ah. Pebrero ko nung <laughs> Scorpio. Ano nila sa'yo? Santulon to, gulo ang mga taga February. Sige, dahi, balik to sa ating Gemini AI. <laughs> Pero ang Gemini AI mo, ano siya ang kaatbang sa GPT-4 yeah. uh, by OpenAI. Oh, mm. kaya yun kayo, nag-subscription naman sa sila, di ba? Mm. Like, ilad yung giatbangan ang chat GPT. Kulbaan man na sila kay ang ang OpenAI kay kanang powered kay nag-invest po ang Microsoft din mo, pero mm. competition po sa Google nga, may nag-power sa Gemini AI. So, katong ni naghanog ni reklamo nga, kuhan nga, uy, na mga in in ka kanang oh, inaccuracy ang inyong results sa inyong Gemini moto. Nakulbaan sila, ilang gisiradog galit, karon mag-relaunching na sila. 
Arong na daw. Ang Pero ang kaning technology sa GPT-4 o Gemini AI kay amazing yun tayo kayo. Ang sama ng technology ay. Ginatawag o large language model. Oh, oh. LLM. Every week pa natin yung mga nindot kay nga terms. Oh, oh. Last, last year kay NLP. Oh, karan kay LLM. LLM. No, mga pa-quiz minsan itong viewers. <laughs> sa mong mga ipang hisgutan di rin. Ang market sa daning Gemini, no? Kay mag yun ang gimpasay sa Google. Na so, multimodal daw sila. Hmm, multimodal. Saan so, mo na multimodal? Like, Model? Audio. <laughs> <laughs> diba ang sa chat GPT na itong nahibawaan kay mo generator siya text. Mm-hmm. Pero ang kanidang Gemini kay na siya audio, visual o text. Mm-hmm. So basically kung audio, pakita ka o ka ng notes sa mm-hmm. mukuan siya, maproduce siya music, something mm-hmm. like that. Very powerful. According sa mga ge- mga naman yung mga test buhaton para sa mga inganing nga model sa ge- undergo po sa GPT-4 o Gemini AI, Almost sa tanan ng mga test dito, example sa pag mathematical abilities mm. na nag-top ang G- Gemini AI. Mm. Pero na yung usta dito nga na labuan dyan sa GPT-4. Ang saman ko? Common sense. <laughs> 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 di ba dingon na why common sense ang Gemini AI? No, di lang. La- labaw-labaw lang po ang oh, GPT-4. Doon-doon lang sila pero di labaw dyan ang GPT. No, murag, sa kaning racing sa GPT-4 uh, o sa Gemini kay murag, kaya yun dyan, there's a rise of generative mm, AI. To- talking about rise, mm-hmm. no? kaning kaning pagsugod sa chat GPT ay kaning pagsugod sa GPT-4 nagtugod mang yun itong sa transformer unsa gina transformer Joanna katong cast si Optimus Prime dili pakyanan ba himong robot robot dili Joanna katong transformer nga gi, gi publish sa Google ba oh, attention mm-hmm. is all you need research paper by Google so basically bisag naguna si GPT-4 sa race sa generative AI ang behind jud sa technology ani transformer case Google jud kasi mm. laman ang nagpublish ato nga research paper so basically kung wala ga publish ang Google di mahimo ang GPT oh. sa mm. pero ethical gyapon ang dili ningon na nangopya ang GPT-4 ang opinay ay ani kay gear publish man jud to so gamit pud jud ang research mo siyag RRL day oh. oh. studies nila ang Google oh. himo ra nila karon kay kulbaan ng Google <laughs> nakulbaan ng Google ka Wow. Ang kaning LLM kay Murag. Kung sa kaning LLM? Large, Large language, language models. models. Murag, buwan na dyan ka ng bago ka ron. Mm. So, yung diba? application, of course, dili ra ka na pariha sa chat GPT nga, mga na tag question kay Motobag. Of course, computer detection sa like mga anomaly detection. Mm-hmm. Pwede sa niya dira, geospatial. Yung mas mapaspas sa datong pag-search, ani, oh, like, search, search optimization. Mm-hmm. Kana, Content creation po, oh, not, oh, aside true. sa mag-answer sa mga question na yung mga video, kaya mm. siya video. Iba, what if search ka dito, teach me limits, teach mm. me calculus, so... Oo, oh, nag-ibot ang Khan Academia na nga, nagamit no? sa generative AI, na nakay personalized nga tutor, di ba? Amazing kayo. Sa una, ang Khan Academy kay videos, true. parang gamit sa like AI. Pero una ba na ibayad? Na, uh, ay, na ay, warag subscription, na yung uban na free, kanilang sa free, kanilang level of Uh, features ang ma-access ni mo. No, mojo uh, na ang downside na ay bayad or oh, kanang atong data privacy kay mm, murag ma mapektoran jud mm, ani. Nya samot ay us kanang ang kanibay ang mga large language model gi train ba ni data so maka question sa taas sa sila gikan sa. Mm, that's true. Data? Had looks at gali lang mga results kay basin ay bias ba oh, kay ang data set na ilang gi train basin pertaining ra ani nga oh, sample. Or, gikan na sad sa sa AI ilang data set. Oh, what diba? if? Oh, mono delikado sad si dili sad example mag ask tag question sa chat GPT dapat atong i mm. i fact check sad mismo mm. ba where guide lang na nato sila. Sure, Mao jud niya mm. tong future karon no mm. puro na AI pero like dapat ta mo look back sa yes. past. Mm. Kay wala wala ang past, wala tayo karon. Mm. Oh, 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 eh, Gamit ba yang Wi-Fi sa kuan kaning True. large language model din kinsa man ang nagsugod ani? So, sa gino ni Juana, iha dong auntie. Huh? <laughs> si Hedy Lamar. Shout out to Hedy. <laughs> Hedy. Hi, tita. Shout out to heaven, Hedy. Pero karon ba yan kay, again, Women's Month, Month Celebration. Ang mm. theme kay, We or Women's Empowerment for Gender Equality and Inclusive, Inclusive Society. Grabe, True. No? Mark, dahok kay naambag si Hedy, ano yun, no? Kay... <laughs> Dili sakto ba tao like. <laughs> so itibang itibang na to no nga anti siya ni Juana <laughs> pero sa tinut anay lang kani si Hedy kay 1914s ni siya na buhi guys mm, sa so nakabot wow. pa ni siya sa World War 2. So kani si Hedy di ay kay 
artista ni Sia at innovation innovator. Oh. Well rounded ka ayo. Oh, grabe kay yung brilliance. Beauty and brains. Beauty and brains. Well nag taping bo imbis matug kay nag invent. Pero pito seryoso. Or nag solve og calculus. Mm. <laughs> Naka invent siya og kanang tablet na mo dissolve sa water may mo carbonated drink. Mm-mm. So ang kanindi yung git yung technology na na create kay nani siya collaboration with composer mm. nga niya nga mm. friend which is si George Antil nya kani oh. si George Antil pianist good oh. so mm-hmm. kato nga time world war man sa so nakauna na sila nga ang allies daw kay kunta na ato nga time kay mga mm-hmm. Nazis so ang kato daw nga time kay naa sila like, communication system nya aware good si Hedy og si Antil nga kanino ma ma eavesdrop mo ani ma kuan mo ani maka spy mo ani so mm. mo to nag code create sila communication system na dili daw ma ma eavesdrop okay, or sound like, na radio frequency oh dili ma ano, ano, ma eaves ka nang ma jam daw uh-huh. ang ilang signal so ang nahitabo kay naghimo sila aning frequency hopping mm. like rapid ang rapid ang pag change of carrier oh ang idea na buo ni siya kay di ba si until pianist mm. so ang ilang idea pinakauna what if daw daghan piano magdungan mm. sila magdungan og play okay. same nga composition oh yeah nice so random good nga murag so the random nga mga sequence, sequence. so mm. katong nga mga sequence ang nakabaw ra to ang transmitter oh. o ang receiver so sa dungan-dungan oh. na pag piano let's say nga na random nga mga kuan ang makabaw ra to ang makadawat mm. so mm. so imagine sa nimo as a listener ba maglibog good ka kinsa joy source atong mm. uh, nga play sa music kay gadungan baya sila kinsa ang nagplay sa piano oh mana oh. dili siya dali ma, ma interfere sa mga lain nga kuan mga sa eavesdropper. Oh. so kung dili tungod ani <laughs> sad niya nga inila nga invention kay ang main man gyud nag invent ani kay si si girl si Hedy hmm, si girl, hmm. si Wala, wala sa tay wifi wala tay cellphone dai kay bluetooth oh. man oh wala sa bluetooth <laughs> <laughs> so maon ni siya ang foundation dai sa wifi yes. no or like mm. legit ni siya na murag ni ni fully developed into a wifi na kita mm. na gamit karon for wala wifi guys dili mo kita sa mong face yes. yes thank you hadi lamar thank you. shout out to you hadi lamar shout out to you so what's happening question that the brains of people are more interesting than the looks mo nagi ngon niya na ni ana si hadi nga para nako no ang brains yun sa people kay mas more interesting so juana unsa may kwan ni mo ana inun sa di kay example na kay mo crush no nga cute <laughs> Mo bati magnong uy kung bati og batasan. Oh, batasan yo wala wala kay sense, di ba? Oh, wait oh, nonsense din oh. Mo bati yung no di ba? Ikaw ko yo. Wala, we're exacto jud yang giingon na dapat lang dili lang ta beauty dapat na kay brains. Kay unsaon man ang beauty if mo kay brains? Oh, yeah. Okay. Dal raka. Dal raka. Pero asay da na ang ako lang jud last thing na makuha from Hedy Lamar kay Kung wala gud siya gi-allow sa yang papa mm. to explore kung gi-limit ra siya nga dapat ani ra ka nga mga rules dili jud ma-explore yang pagka-innovative so mao na siya nanon dili lang ta in promoting inclusivity dapat may support yes important mm. like the environment kay in di the si term ana kana ka conducive oh. kana conducive para sa imong ne- so, learnings wala tong gipang fight karon mm. in tag dapat ta welcoming to a lot of people. Yes, not love. just men. Yeah. More more peep, more diverse ang people, more diverse ang ideas. Yes. So muna ang shout out ni Hedy Lamar for today's video. Mm, yeah. Anyway, those are our latest tech news of the hour. Stay tuned to hear our Tech Talks guest after the break. Ang programang maghatod kaninyo sa mga impormasyon kabahin sa atong library. Mga polisiyang naglangkob ni ini, mga serbisyong tinuyo nga gimugna alang sa tanan, mga e-resources, databases, o web services nga angay may balan o masayran. Live chat, kada alas dos sa hapon matag lunes. Live chat! Once upon a confession. <laughs> Wala man jud kay marantan sa akong feelings. Oy, I don't know sad as a mga yung advice. <laughs> Oble, help me. Iska, got something to share? Need personal advice? Don't worry. We got your back. Kay diri sa dear Oble, you are heard. Pwede ka makasubmit og entry and be one of our chosen anonymous senders. Catch Adi and Daisy and Rith and Shiara. As we chika mapa social, love, akads, or life in general, 
while Oblet listens. Oblet? Maoba? Is this really true? Oh yeah. Dear Oblet, your avenue needs to be heard. One confession. <sighs> we keep going in circles. We keep trying. We ask the same questions over and over again. You don't tell me what you need. I don't understand what you want from me anymore. This is a friendly reminder from Nakaka Local. Naanamutanan, Kalihok, Kasaja, Kadasig, Saki Tibukan Sasibu. Welcome to the frequency where innovation meets conversation. You've just tuned in to the hottest tech talk show in town. Get ready for a mind-bending journey through the latest in tech people, gizmos, and groundbreaking ideas. As we celebrate Women's Month, we are launching two episodes for IT Girls or IT Girls. This is for us to celebrate different women in tech and their contribution to this industry. Let us welcome our first IT Girl or IT Girl guest for today's bite-sized tech talks, Rai Peladas, the former CSG Executive Director and City Lead of Women in AI Philippines. Wow. Hi, Rai! How are you? Hi, Rai! Oh my God! It feels surreal nga last year no? kay Gahimo ta sa program That's sa katong time for officership and now kay na na siya officially sa DYU Radio. Yes. Congratulations to the uh, entire thank you for so pushing much, this Rai. so much. Ravi, we're yeah. so glad to have you here at the Idol Duty Oh, yes. thank you! I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> Excited kay ko sa atong talk. Yeah, Rima, how can someone just say Rai? Hi, Rai. mga listeners. Um, so hi, I'm Rai. Um, I'm a very huge advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Right now, kay, um, I'm the city lead for Cebu City in Women in AI. Um, it's a Philippine organization that really promotes diversity, equity, and inclusion in artificial intelligence. So aside from that, kay, right now, I guess the most interesting thing that I I'm working on would be my research internship True. for the most part. I'm focusing on gender and development. So, we're going to talk about on our talk right now. And yeah, looking forward to our conversation. We're no, well-rounded, mm. guys, right? <laughs> Beauty and brains, Beauty just like Kelly yes. Lamar. What's up, Kelly Lamar? <laughs> Um, ako ato siyang silingan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ang listeners na ito, ganahan mo tayo na single pa ba si oh, Ryan? Ay, yeah. ay, ala, marag, dili na raba. Oh, ala, ala, dili na, guys. I, I'm taken. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, boys. Shout Sorry, out sa ako, Yab na Mina, right now. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening, Kurt. <laughs> Hi. So, Ryan, yeah. asaman jud, asaman ka gikan ani na inspiration or passion ni mo para sa women in AI in the Philippines? I think, for the most part, kaya nakita dyan ako ang problem mm. on like how women and minorities are really underrepresented in the tech field in the first True. place. And as Joanna said earlier, the more diverse a team is, mm. the more ideas there are that they can bring to the mm. table. And it's very apparent in the tech world, kaya we can see the biases mm. and we can see the harassments that mm. are targeted towards the minorities in the first place. Let's say Facebook for the most part. Mostly, I know you developers sa Facebook I were very male centered. Mm. The people who were making the decisions were guys. Yeah. And so the policies that goes on Facebook regarding the safety of women in the first place, kay wala gipot into mind. Mm. So, mo nang makakita tagdaghan kay harassments towards women yes. and minorities in Facebook in the first place. And that's because wala include ang experiences of these minorities mm. in creating the technology in the first mm -hmm. place. So I think it's important that as we move forward with technology, we become more inclusive of these other experiences that people get to have with technology. Mm. And we're gula kay na siya incorporate bitaw. Okay, very profit driven sa gayo yes. ang tech in the mm. first place. And I think we really need to divert from that idea towards civic action and social justice. Mm, that's if true. we want technology to be actually conducive and to be mm. to make us more productive in a sense na dili lang ta commodify with it because we're the products of mm. these technologies mm -mm. 
And it's unfair for a lot of people who receive all of these targeted harassments, especially towards women and minorities. I think it's important that as we move forward with future technology makers, computer scientists, um, it's important that we place these ideas into the things that we make in the first place, diba? Most of the problem with the Gemini AI is bias ang ilahang product. Yeah. So like mo, yeah, it's apparent. If kung bias imo hang input, bias jud mm. ang output. Mer- yes. Um ato jung ma ma realize to unsa ka importante ang data in terms mm. of like outputs, in terms of bias. Mm. Mergato ma 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 realize ani ang de- data democratization. Mm. Unsa man jud di na ang data democratization? Data democratization in the first place is the act of putting the power of data back into the people. It's mm. making wow. it's making data more accessible for those non-technical users. Like yeah, the ones na dili kayo expert when it comes to technology. Mm. Kita privilege kita, we are computer science students. Yes, we're exposed yes. always to this. But a lot of people aren't. Kanang Usually, there is this diba, there is this digital divide mm. that doesn't go only for women and minorities. They go mm. also towards atuang people in the first place, to the masses, diba? True. Unaw na mo, the farmers, the yeah. fishermen, the jeep drivers. Factor jud ang social economic. Mm. Um, yeah, the social economic factors also affect how in- inclusive technology is, mm. and dili kay na siya ipursue by software companies because it's not that profitable, True. Yes. diba? Okay, wala kay makuha nga profit from there. Mo na ka like moingon ka nga. Yeah, it's really something I'm passionate about. It's some it's a big step for people to make technology for a lot of people, but dili man ingon nga tanan jud pud makahimo ana nga tech. So that's why we need to have data democratization. We need to increase education nga a lot of people would be able to use data to power their daily lives. Mm-hmm. Nga sila jud mismo ang makagamit. We bring autonomy back to them. Okay, they are the ones who are being controlled by these big tech companies, mm-hmm, diba? That's true. Ka ang algorithm, kay very consuming, mm, kaayo, kay true. murag ma- madala na lang ka sa algorithm. But it's important to give them back the autonomy, the power back sa data sa ilhang hands in the first since place. Since your talk, ay, since na bring up man mo ate, no, nga, giving back the mm. autonomy. So how can data de- democratization contribute to more informed decision making man ate, at all levels of organization in that sense? Dili siya maingon like all levels of organization because yeah I'd like to dive into the individual things mm. that a person can do towards data democratization because in the first place okay, it really starts with education sad. True. True. Um, aside from media literacy and aside from actually kind of learning about the platform and the technology okay, in one way it's really bringing back the autonomy to them because we get so consumed by the algorithms yes. sometimes we get lost nga kita pa ba ni or mm. nga tong thoughts we mm. drive na lang ba by the algorithms it's true. like that that's true yeah so it's data democratization okay it's like the ground level jud of actually building back an organization that actually promotes civic true. action and social justice it's the first step actually nga para maka bring back ka sa decision making powers sa people i think mm. said nang Usa ka pro aning data democratization kay if kung daghan og people ang wise thinkers, wise decision yes. makers mm. kay makahimo tag humane technology. Yes. Mm. Unsa man ning humane technology di ay? It's actually I, I think it's diverse sad kaayo ang iyang kuan right now definition, but for the most part, I think ma boil down siya by placing people over profit. Yes. Mm, it's like true. that. Technology is very consumerist baya kaayo. Mm. We can say it's very profit driven. Most of the decisions go back to like um, go back to like making economic decisions and mm-hmm. that in itself is good but we've also seen the damages that it's, uh, it has done not only to society but also to the environment in the first place and I think dihan na jud mo circle back balik to diversity equity and inclusion True. kay dihan na to incorporate ang experiences sa a lot of people yes. into the things that we make into the software that we with make, that diba? incorporating the experiences of people that they in sajud ka important nga ato jud dadon ang empathy dapat mm. atong design kay human centered mm. para sa ato ang technological solutions mm. Oh, usang question na like, uh, Unsaon na to pag bring ba ang empathy, ang human mm. design, ang uh, center role, design? Ani, mm. Sa um, 
technological solutions. Right. With that, okay, aside sa data democratization, mm. it's important to have, like right now, the student initiative. Mm-mm. I'd like to share one of our previous sub, uh, projects from last year, Samuang 129, which was Jeepney. True. Yeah. Uh, ang amo ang gihimo kay Bali, kay, yeah, um, wala ko nakatend ato sa booth sa ang group, because sadly, I, I was sick at that time. But, Nay dool nila ang mga companies ni anak pud sa team nga. Wala man may kwarta makuha ani. Ni ana dito sila. Ni ana I was na, there. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> ana sila wala man makuha nga kwarta ning jeepney. Oh jeepney was God. basically a micro business managing tool for jeepney True. drivers. Which was important for them at that time and sadly lang jud ato pud nga time kay nagsugod pud og hinay-hinay na yeah, ang modernization. Ang yeah. modernization which we were very pissed about in the first place. Yes. But yeah, as students especially sa ato ang 129 nga projects mm-hmm. aside like the kind diversity of the projects that goes there but it's important to make technology nga ma-incorporate true. ni diba dako kay ko siya nga help actually for jeepney drivers if only mm. wala lang jud ang roll up that's true i was there and then i need do all na um i think it was a businessman mm. and then his point was that um the jeepney app was really not for for profit mm. kay a uh, young work point at to kay um maka afford ba ang oh. mga jeepney drivers ani or mm. um nabasa cellphone mo na yung mm. point ato mm. but i was yeah. there kay i was also promoting our mm. um app it's mm. also, also um shout out lang sa mong app no or mm-hmm. ang pangalan kay okay, okay square, square. Wow. yes i want to share gi promote kay it's for sustainability mm, and we're having a uh, uh, e-commerce platform for centered in Ukay mm. Ukay. Yeah. Pero nindot bitaw nga example sa tong program ba kay Merg naka nagod tay waste of thinking unsa na matabang nato sa Kana. society. Kay di ba pressing problem jud nato ang transportation mm. every year so kad first year na jud nay project about jeepney. Mm. Inga yeah. na jud ginamawa. Unsa Inga na jud unsa ka importante ang kaning nga problem na dapat i-address nga bisan pag ang uban mga businessman wala sila makuha ang kwarta manong wala jud nagpangusog ani pero kita students hmm. na jud tay na jud hmm. sige jud tag push ani nga idea na jud jeep project every year hopefully though if kumo graduate ta dili na mawala ang passion for that mm. kay dili yeah. ta ma consume as Lagi. corporate slaves yes. or capitalism mm. ma- slaves ma trap jud mostly ano <laughs> but it's really important jud nga we bring inclusion in True. the things that we need. So, more more important is yung highlight na nino kay Murag through tech kay makahimu tag community. There's community mm. building. Mm. And, you know, unsa man community building and how can community building initiatives makahelp na to para ma-address atong digital divide na yung mga gimansyon. Ah, right. Um, Murag, ko mag But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly a community builder for the most part right Mm-mm. now. Um, and I think the important thing about community, okay, it really brings connectedness back. We live in such an egocentric and consumerist mm, society. That's true. It's always me, 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 and more, more, more. But I think it's important to look back on actually connecting with people, actually understanding them, empathizing with them in the first place to be able to make something of substance that they can use. And important that like, you are able to see the experiences and the lenses of other people mm-hmm. through community and to be able to gather a lot of talented people and to be able to um, accumulate the ideas that have come from each of their experiences is a good thing because that is where inclusion and diversity True. And uh, equity. Flourishes. <laughs> flourishes, diba? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it's really important nga we start building communities. Makita man jud pod kaayo ang positive change nga madala niya. Yes. And I suppose, sige, let's say nga sa guild, mm. in the first place, naglisod pod ba to around last year, nag-start pa ta. Mm-mm. And one of the things that I really was trying to promote was to bring community back. Mm. To be able That's to true. have, like, to be able to have programs that students can actually enjoy being on. Bisa yes. ka diverse ang ilahang interest. It could be on big data, it could be in AI, it could be in cybersecurity. But the fact that they have people that they can connect to, that mm. they can say nga, na sila support bitaw. Mm. Mga kako sila support nga, ay, modi ni mo experience ato. Unsay mo unsay mo ikatabang ani? Or what are your advices on how I should move forward? I think it's a good thing. Kaya aside from mm-hmm. being able to connect with people, makagget sad kag mentors, di ba? Yes. Nga makate, makasulti mm. ni mo nga yan. Ni o ni, na o ni. Talking about mentors at Tiray, one ka sa mentors sa inter-high competition. Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> then, at Tiray, what do you think? How can educators and mentors like you inspire students nga from different backgrounds na mo pursue sila sa tech? 
Yes. It's important to be a role model in the first place. Yes. One of the problem ako na encounter to kay naki bailo jud ko for mm. a mentor kay I really wanted to to mentor a group na naay girl. Yeah. Kay wow. three oh, uh, out of the seven schools, three ra ka groups ang naay girl nya. Usara jud ka buok pud kada team. Mm-hmm. And makita jud mm-hmm. nimo nga in a sea of men, murag gamay ra kayo ang women nga nag-dive, nag-dive into tech. And ana ko nga ganahan ko mag-teach og not to be like more opposite na mm-hmm. sa sexism, but it's not like that. It's more of like I wanted her to see nga makaya oh, ba niya ba. Na, na siya na if Ate Rai up. can do it, yes. I can pursue yes. it too. Uh-huh. At least makita hindi di ka siya ma-discourage bitaw kay it's important to have a role model nga makita jud nimo nga na kay mura guiding destination mm-hmm. or like this, this is who I want to be mm-hmm. and I can be like her kay if nabuhat niya din mabuhat na ko. And it, it's important for each of us, especially if you have the power, to be a good mm-hmm. role model mm-hmm. to your peers in the first place. To add lang sa dati, no, thankful kay ko kay Dirisa, Computer Science by UP. Mm-hmm. It's very nice kay ang among batch, may puro women. Bitaw! So, so I'm so happy kay. Really? Yeah, yes. legit. Mm-hmm. Ilahara ang pinakadaghan no? pong babae yes. sa tanang Ang among batches. environment kay, di yun may makafeel nga very, kuan op ka na oh. oppress me. Mm-hmm. Like, grabe, yeah. maka, kuan yun may sa mong maka, Chika, may kung sa mong gusto. Hmm. Nashock bitaw sa ko nga. Sa batch kay puro man bayo. <laughs> <laughs> Nashock sa bitaw ko ka nang ma-explore ko, na-try ko again internship kay. Mm. Dito kay, dito na ko na-feel nga men-dominated, mm. diba? Kay sa skwilahan kay, dili man ko kay feel og men-dominated. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Really? Okay. Or when I named it sa UP, like, we're very mm. inclusive, inclusive, supportive. Inclusive, mga good pagkaya yung UP. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of that, Marag, um, how can we, na dili women, mga allies mm. in, that, yes. in that sense maka support ani na initiative oh yeah na, na quick case ana kaysa akong uyab like mm. ng hagad ko niya Sana for all. celebration sa international <laughs> women's day Sana all. and murag ibig siya kay sure ka nga okay ra ko na aadto mm. kay di ba nag nag expect ang mga kuan ba nga puro siya girls ang naadto mm. ah in the first place and i was like no appeal mm. join us try to understand like you can't be a full ally if you don't understand the struggle in the true, first place. True. Then join us. Tanaw sa activity, paminaw sa mga talks, join the lectures, and try to understand asa nag-root ang among struggle. Because yes. you can't yes. be a good ally if you don't understand sa ang pain nga go through na to in the first place, right? So, to be a really active ally, then join us. Mm-hmm. Thankful rapod ko niya kay mo join man put. Good job, Kurt. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> so Kurt, the young way of guys. <laughs> yes, but yeah. Thank you. Thankful sad ko. I have very supportive friends and supportive family. Yes. And it's really good nga in the first place jud kato um, understand the struggle. And wow. once you understand it, kay diha na ka makastem jud to have empathy mm. towards that movement in the first place. And then from there, we can boost it to actually make decisions that can make an impact. Diba no, sa tong first app kay nag-talk ta about the past, which is Hedy Lamars nga naka-contribute sa modern time. So, for you, Ate Rai, nga leader gyud sa kaninga industry, <laughs> sa kaninga sphere, <laughs> and I'm very inspired. So, how can women celebrate and amplify the contributions of women in technology throughout history and of course, now? The most tangible action nga mabuhat jud ana for the most part is celebrate national women's month international women's month wow. there are a lot of resources out there you can go to the gender and development office to owash office yes. of anti sexual yes. uh, anti sexual harassment in up and outside of that kina po yung mga lgu initiatives diba so kina ang important bit attend these events celebrate with us in the first place try to keep up with the series no. diba next next episode kina na po ilahi nga yes. it girl lang iko an yes. 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 ang quote diba? na learning is the beginning of understanding yes. Yes. and from understanding we can make Sure, oh. that is right. Mereg, kanina talk, no? Kay very informative, yes. very Insane. heartwarming. Jud atong yeah. talk today. Thank you so kayo. much, Rai, for no your time problem. with us, no? I'm so happy to be here. Mereg, fun fact lang, guys. Last year, with our um term with our CSG, which is Rai, kay tungod na mo oy no tungod sa tong term tungod sa tong term kay nahimo ang taktok yes. Yes. yes it was, it was so good yeah it was one of our primary initiatives that yeah. we really wanted to bring tech education in a more public yeah. sphere yes. diba podcast pa True. to before yes. okay radio show yeah. na siya grabe eh 
Grabe kay milestone ang Tech Talks, no? Thank you, Kayo, Miss, sa inyong listeners. Thank you, Kayo, Miss, sa inyong listeners. <laughs> Thank you, Kayo, sa listeners sa Tech Talks. We're kind of, guys, na may shoutout na listener dira? Ay, yes, na ako i-shoutout. Hi to my mom. Happy birthday. Wow. wow. The strongest yeah. woman I know. If it weren't for you, wala ta po diri ka Thank you for so pushing so out the right. Yes. <laughs> and birthday. giving her and giving her a conducive environment. Oh, yeah. very supportive. Yeah. Aside from that, shout out to my fairy godmothers outside the radio booth, Jill and Miran's. Hi. Thank you sa support. Shout out to our listeners from Comsai, my friends, Jessel Mingas and Mika Filpa. Shout out today ko sa kong mom. Although wala siya sa tech sphere pero grabe strong and very powerful gid siya nga mom D- mm. dito na ako nakuha ang iyang kuan uh, iyang survival skills <laughs> <laughs> ako shout out ko sa kong mga igsoon hi sis oh, mga nag-inspire mga wow. Wow. nag-inspire sad na ko bang to continue doing my best kay Tres Marias ben oh. huh? dagdag sa day oi shout out na to silang Ellen silang oh. Dupin silang Princess na sila oi the lineup of so yeah <laughs> Thank you so much, Rai, for your Ay, time with na. us. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> Hello, come say girly. Hi, hi Jit or Zane. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they know you, but yeah, hi. Shout out Thank you so Mono. much for your time with us, Rai. This episode will not be full without you. Wow, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. All right. Thank you again, everybody, for listening to this Tech Talk show segment. We've just taken you on another bite-sized journey through the world and people in computer science and technology. We hope you've enjoyed this Tech Talks episode with us today. Remember, if life throws you a 404 error, just refresh and reboot. That's right. Keep coding, keep exploring, and keep sharing this episode. And if you've got any burning tech questions or simply want to share your thoughts, feel free to connect with us on social media. You can find our Facebook page, which is Tech Talks, the name of this radio program. Remember, you can catch all our episodes on our Facebook and YouTube pages and on Spotify. And be sure to stay tuned for more exciting updates on our amazing Iskos and Iskas. You can keep up with us through our UP mail, radio.upcebu at up.edu.ph Twitter, Instagram, TikTok at DYUP Sugbo underscore UPC and Facebook at DYUP Sugbo. Don't forget to also follow UP Computer Science Guild, Facebook and Instagram at UPCSG, LinkedIn, UP Computer Science Guild and email upcsg.upcbu at gmail.com. Once again, this is Joanna Rica Lagumbay together with my cyber partners Jade Zane Katakes and Yusuf Vincent Pulvera. We are about to power down but don't worry because we will see you again, world
sada mainan lik sanu kebayo sama galianes naku ya pan ku nunggut seru ni ikias ang mangapa sahero pantung haditus pulis nang ahurut nang witness usarai aku maingun ampingin ka ugalingun kau ku maglu ips udi dito sa my carbon From the University of the Philippines Cebu Radio Booth, Kiniang Live Chat. Para kang isko, iska, faculty, reps, og admin staff. The UP Cebu University Library's official channel on the air. Dayon ka mo. All right, may yung hapon ganatong tanan. Kuday si Don, gikan sa University Library o karong hapon. Uh, we are the live chat the ay ugarong hapon we will be talking about some uh, important uh, notes uh, and together with me is our ever gorgeous and guapa wow. kayo <laughs> nga si Miss Joyce Avedra Hello everyone my hapon Miss Joy kumusta Don uh, init kay sa gawas <laughs> Kumusta man Energetic kita nung pan po na, no? Kumusta man atong library di ay karun? Daghan siya kayo tao. Nindat siya kayo ato ang library karun. Kay at least mga sudyante, no? Nidumdum na sila. Daghan siya kayo tagkuan. Bitaw. So, masasig ko nung nalangan ta karun. Masasag bitaw. So, karong hapo na, Miss Joy, kay unsa man ang usa sa mga istoryahan nato or unsa man ang usa sa atong i-share karon sa atong mga tigpaminaw diri sa DYUP Sugu or I mean DYUP na sa live chat no uh, live so chat. gikan sa nga no nga live chat so magstorya ta about sa library so pag karong hapon na atong gisgutan kay mga services lang usa so mag-focus ta sa ato ang borrowing returning og uh, renewal sa mga books kay mao man ang murag usa sa mga importante kayo nga serbisyo nga atong gi-offer sa library no kung para ma-enjoy gid nila ang resources nga naa sa ato ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Miss Joy uh, before ta mo add to sa mga mm. polisiya sa mga uh, serbisyo nga i-offer sa library. Ngano mang importante man nga istoryahan nato karong hapon ang usa sa pinaka uh, concern sa ato ang stakeholders sa UPCB. Mm. 